Hey guys, um, today we're going to run through a really quick tutorial which is a fixed navbar. Um, so as you can see YouTube uses a fixed navbar here so that when you scroll down the page you can still see all of the navigation items um, which is really useful if you've got a long page and users aren't likely to scroll back up to the top or anything like that. Um, so let's get straight into it. First things first, open up your file editor. and open up the file. This is a file that I used on my last video um, so we can just reuse that. Um, so we'll delete everything inside the body and there we go. So all of these files will be uh, available to you and I'll quickly run through what everything is but it'll be super simple. So the doc type is just declaring what type of document this is which is HTML. The head tag, um, everything in the head tag gets um, loaded before the page and then so any style sheets or anything like that, the title, things that aren't rendered on the actual page. Um, then everything that you want your user to be able to see you put inside the body tag and that's about it. Really simple. So as you can see our uh, document is going to be looking for a style sheet.css so let's add that in. File. Style sheet.css. Okay, so let's get to it. We'll start off by using the header tag, which is a HTML5 tag. Um, using tags like that um, are better for Google Analytics. You could just have a tag, a div tag called header, but um, Google recognizes this as a div tag and not a header tag, which means that it's not as not as useful basically because Google won't recognize that your page has a header, blah blah blah. SEO, SEO, SEO. So You've got a header. In that header, maybe you've got a logo, which we're going to have as a H1, and just say logo. Maybe you've got some links, so we're going to have a couple of links. Uh, home, about, work, contact. I don't know. So there we go, really simple. So what we're going to do is, first of all, HTML body. We're going to change the background color to black. We're going to change the font family to sans serif just because I like it better. And that's it. If we look at our page now, boom, it's black and it's sans serif. What a surprise! Next thing, we're just going to look at our file so we've got a header so we want our header to be a different color so that we can see it um, so header we're going to give that a background color of white you can just say white or you can use the hex code probably better you practice to use the hex code just in case um, and there we go it's white so we've got a little margin problem there but it's not really what this video is about, but it's still annoying me. So there we go. Header's full width now. So our header will give it a padding of 20 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. Then we'll say header H1, which is our logo. If we just check, H1 is here. So header H1, we're going to have um, float left. Not sure if we've used floats before, but they're really simple. Float left means it will float all the way to the left as far as it can go. Um, floats can get a bit complicated because if I show you now, if we float that left, um, it won't actually appear in the header. Well, it does. So if I go header ul and float that to the right, which is where we want it over on the right, if I refresh now, the header will disappear. See, it's gone. The text down here, and it's all jumbled up. How you fix that? is you add a float left to your header and a width of 100% and if you refresh again everything's inside the header and it's perfect. Now because I've got padding on the header that's causing a bit of a problem here so if we just take that off like that and refresh again there we go so now the page is just as wide as it can go. Now to add a bit of padding in there we'll create a container, oops, 
um, with a max width, it doesn't really matter, of 1200 pixels, margin zero auto, so it's in the center of the screen, um, and a padding of 0 and 30. So if we put all of this inside a container, um, div class equals container, pop that all back in and refresh again, nothing happens, oh it does, <laughs> there you go, so it's all in a nice little container now. Um, we could just do the fixed part here, but I'll just fix this just to make it look a bit nicer. Um, so the UL will have a margin of zero, padding of zero, a list style type of none. And now if you just copy all of this stuff, this works for our oops, li as well. So add in all of that, give it a display of inline block, so they're all in a line. And most of this is useful for our a tag as well. So ul li a, pop that in there, but this time it's going to be display block. So you can get rid of this list style because that doesn't affect a tags. And then if we add some padding just to make it look a little bit nicer, boom. Change the color of that um, color. Oops. And we want it to be black, which is six zeros. Um, font weight bold, text transform uppercase. You can mess around with it, do whatever you want. Um, just take off text decoration. None. We just add a padding, a margin, sorry, on the top of the UL as well. It will give it a margin of, I don't know, 15 pixels. Just to try and center that in the middle. And that looks a bit better. Maybe bump up to 20. Let's see what that does. Oops, not 120. So I'm going a little bit quicker than usual, trying to get this tutorial to be pretty sharpish and nice and quick. Um, so there we go. Got our logo and our links and our header. So to prove that it's fixed, we're going to have to add some content. So under our header, I'm going to add a block. So div class block, and we'll just say one, because we're going to have a few of them, so we can just see which which one it is. Oops, wrong button. So I'll have four, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so really simply then, um, div dot block we're gonna have as float left oops float left width a hundred percent oh god what's going on width a hundred percent um height is gonna be four hundred pixels okay and then div dot block dot one we're gonna have a background colour of green dot block dot two can have a background colour of red div dot block dot three it's gonna be blue oops and div dot block dot four is going to be purple Ta da so if we refresh we should have four blocks and that makes up our page. Ta -da. So you can see now we can scroll down, but the header doesn't fix. It stays at the, stuck at the top of the screen, which is not what we want. We want it to stay at the top, moving down with the page. So how do we do that? First things first, it's super simple. And it almost sounds like I'm joking how simple it is, but all you have to do is position fixed. That is literally it. There's a couple of tweaks in there that you can add, but this should just work automatically. Position fixed. Now, as I scroll down, it stays at the top of the screen. It's as simple as that, guys. Position fixed. Now, some things you should add just for good practice. So you add a top of zero, a left of zero, because sometimes it won't automatically align to those areas. So top and left. And if we refresh that now, it should look exactly the same. 
and it's fixed. Scrolling down, scrolling up, scrolling down, and that's it. Really nice and simple. Um, the reason I did this tutorial is because I've got a few uh, questions asking for it in the comments of my other videos. So if you want to see anything, give me a shout, let me know what you want, and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.